It began as just a normal night in Nottingham, but what happened to student Sarah changed her life. I could have died that night. I was, it was just awful. After becoming seriously unwell and blacking out, Sarah spent a night in hospital. She um, believes she was spiked, but shockingly, through an shots. injection. I could just tell well, something, something has happened because my hand, why is my hand like this? And it was throbbing. I think immediately I just thought HIV, hepatitis. I just felt physically sick, so I was like, that, that's really in my system. It's left her and her friends terrified and uncomfortable about ever going back out. I just feel assaulted. It just makes me feel really, really sick and just really angry as well. I don't know what part of someone being in such a vulnerable state people look at and think that's funny or that's attractive. Since nightlife reopened, there's been a surge in the number of reported spiking cases. But like Zara experienced, a new way of drugging victims through a needle is causing major concern. The fact that I know I didn't drink much that night is terrifying because I just can't fathom into words how scary it felt to have completely no memory. We take the actions they tell us to prevent getting a drink spike. No one tells you how to protect yourself from an injection. We've heard from a number of young women in Scotland, Manchester, Cardiff and Liverpool who claim they've been spiked by injection on a night out. Police forces have told us they're investigating multiple reports and this is distinctly different to anything they've seen before. I think it's a fair assumption there may be a sexual motive in those. After today, I will go into those forces and um, I've, I've got RASO or rape leads in each force to, to find out what's going on and offer any support that we can. It took just a matter of days for this petition to exceed 100,000 signatures. Parliament will now consider stricter security measures at nightclubs. I just want to go and feel safe. And what I would say to nightclubs is... Yes, these tougher restrictions may require a bit of money, they may require more staffing, but they'll make it safer for us. As the Home Secretary demands urgent answers from police forces, the nighttime industry is calling for an inquiry into this issue. But all the while, this new phenomenon of targeting young women in clubs is causing deep discomfort and concern. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News.